welcome to Stitching It. My name is Stephanie and I am a cross stitcher and I love to stitch any time of day. And um, today I'm coming to you with a video of a few um, products that I've been using and collecting over the couple years. And it's all about um, lighted magnification today, okay? That is a tool that can really come in handy when you're a stitcher. And, um, you know, I like to stitch in my bedroom a lot of times when the light is dim at night, sometimes when my family is asleep, or when we are maybe watching a movie or something and we want to have the lights off, but I don't want to stop stitching. So um, I have been really uh, trying to find some good things to use. Um, so that I can stitch in a dimly lit place and not disturb other people and of course magnification is a bonus. So I'm going to be talking about four products today that I've used and the first one is going to be um, familiar to you. I'm going to show a couple pictures here because I don't have it anymore. But this is the this is a product that I purchased in October of 2017 and from Amazon and it's called the Yocto Sun Head Mount Magnifier and this might be familiar to you because it has shown some popularity with stitchers here on YouTube but there are some um, cons to this product and that I wanted to talk about uh, which is a, one of the reasons why I don't even have it anymore you know I did end up um, having to throw it away because uh, my toddler snapped off one of the ear pieces and it just was uh, broken but um, so two things that we're going to talk about today are uh, the lights and the light quality and the battery life and the other um, aspect of the products we're going to be looking at is the um, possibility for magnification uh, use which may not be as important for some of us but um, you know magnification you know a little bump here and there can always be beneficial to stitchers so um, this Yocto Sun uh, magnifier is a good product to start with you know it's very inexpensive but there are some problems that I ran into it with you know first of all I want to mention that I do wear glasses all the time and some of these things that I've been trying out aren't meant necessarily to be worn over your glasses or to be comfortable that way and so um, I'm not sure this particular product is meant to be worn over your glasses and you can do it but um, it, it can be um, difficult for that reason now I tried using the magnification um, on this product it has interchangeable um, magnifiers so that you can uh, get all the way up to a 3.5 magnification it comes with a 1, a 1.5, a 2, a 2.5 and a 3.5 magnifier and they are interchangeable but one of the things that I've noticed you know because I am still I'm not you know I'm gonna be 36 this year and I don't really I have I don't really need heavy magnification yet um, except maybe on the really small counts or doing one over one so I have problems when I use the magnifiers even a reading glass for the focal length I have problems um, focusing and it, getting my stitching in the right area especially if it's an upper magnification so I haven't been using the magnifiers too much um, portion of of these these Yucta Suns however you say it but um, you know the light was really what I was looking for and what I used them for you know and this product does use um, AAA batteries three AAA batteries and they the battery pack the mount is in the front on your forehead and it can get rather uncomfortable after long periods of time that is what I remember when I would stop using it and when I would stop stitching I would stop because it would get uncomfortable either the nose piece 
which is kind of um it looks like the one on Amazon when I look at it now they've improved the improved the product a little bit more it's got a little bit more um rubber nose pads it looks like than it had before and um but it would get very uncomfortable to wear over a period of time and so I started looking for something else something similar that um was like the Yucta Sun. Like I said, my daughter, when she was probably less than two, got a hold of them. I think this was right after I bought my replacement, so it didn't matter so much, but um, she was able to just snap off the, the, the ear, the thing that goes over your ear, and it would, that was it. That was the end of it. So, and I kind of look back on it, and I kind of think you'd sort of get what you pay for, you know, it is pretty inexpensive, but um, it's a good place to start, you know, when you're trying to find products. So this is what I replaced it with now. And I ordered this product from Amazon. Um, let's see. I ordered it in July of 2018. Okay, and this is a very, very similar product. I'm going to show more about I still have it. Um, it's a very, very similar product to the Yucta Sun glasses, but instead this has a um, a headband, an adjustable headband. It's stretchy and it's very easy to adjust the size to it, you know. And it's very comfortable. It's way more comfortable. Another another thing is that the battery pack, you know. Um, on the Yucta Suns is in the front and in this case it's still AAA batteries three AAA batteries but it's in the back okay so this has been my like I said I got this one in 2018 and I've been using it ever since then but um, it also came with magnifiers and it even has two slots here it has where you would interchange the magnifiers on this one you can put two different ones up to here. So it sent, it came with um, a 1, a 1 1.5, a 2, a 2.5, and a 3.5 magnifier. And you can actually put two of those back to back and to increase your magnification up to six times, which I did not use that way. Again, I've, I've tried it using the magnifiers, but I had problems with the focal length. So I mostly use this for, um, the light. Now I'm going to talk a little, this light is pretty good. I haven't replaced the batteries in a while. Most, the, all the lights that I'm going to talk about today, they're all LED lights. And the nature of the LED light is it starts out really bright when the batteries are fresh. And then basically as the batteries run out of juice, it, they just gradually dim and gradually dim. And, um, it's up to you when you decide to replace the batteries, how much effect you, you know, how much uh, you've used them. But this one was a pretty bright light, and I've used it a lot. Now, the, see, I want to show you that. See, the quality of the light, the temperature of the light, the, you know, the cast of the light is almost blue in this one. It's a really blue, bright blue light, okay? So, now, what I never noticed... Um, or paid attention to uh, before um, uh, was the blue color of the light. <laughs> I think the Yucta Sons were a little bit like that too. But um, now that I have a different product, um, uh, the, the blue light does kind of annoy me and it's not as good, you know, as a bright white light when you're really trying to look up close. So, but this is still very good. It's very comfortable to wear for long periods of time. And this, the, the batteries will last, you know, weeks into, you know, or long. I don't even know the last time I've replaced this. Like I said, they just use regular AAA batteries, three AAA batteries. But, um, I have been looking for another, you know, still trying to figure out, um, a way to use magnification successfully and uh, looking for other products like this so I wanted to show you something another product that I found these are called light specs 
Okay, and um, I think they're made by Foster Grant. I'll have to look. But um, I found them in the grocery store of, well, it was Kroger, really, um, in the, in, you know, one of those stands that, sh that have a display of lighted, not lighted, um, reading glasses. And I found these. Um, and they are lighted magnifiers and they are okay for light reading and these I got the 1.5s on these um, and I decided you know I can make do with a 1.5 if I hold my stitching close enough to me and just that little amount of magnification is a is just a little it it really helps out but this now these things were very comfortable um, they're not exactly meant to be worn over glasses of course they're just regular reading glasses um, but they do have these little lights built into the sides now I, I haven't used these in a while and replaced the batteries but they have independent lights for each side Let's see it's not very bright right now because the batteries kind of do need replacing but um, these were helpful but the batteries don't last very long and um, what these come with and I've seen similar knockoff versions of the light specs on um, Amazon and the internet you know just if you look up lighted reading glasses um, but these they, these don't even they don't they use disc batteries and I'll show you these because it came with extra batteries they use these disc batteries and um, just based on how long the these you the first pair used and you have to screw it with a tiny screwdriver on each side to independently change the batteries on each side anytime you were going to replace them so these are really only good for light use I would say and for really in dark circumstances you know they aren't that helpful so I don't really use these anymore but they are another inexpensive option or just depending on what you're able to get but um, they did um, lead me to look for my newest purchase which I have finally found something that I just truly love and I am really excited to show it to you guys um, because, uh, yeah, what the neat thing about this one that I just got is, you know, it can be a pain in the rear end to have to replace these batteries all the time, especially if you're a heavy user of some sort of lighted, um, stitching device, you know, um, replacing these batteries can be expensive. It's a hassle and... Uh, now they're coming out with rechargeable uh, versions so I wanted to show these that I got um, about three weeks ago and these are called Mighty Sight and they are an as seen on TV uh, product and I found them at Walmart for $19.95 and so far I love them okay <laughs> they are meant to wear over glasses so they are made to be comfortable and big flexible these the 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 things the ear the ear pieces are rather flexible and it also has a fantastically comfortable nose piece that's that's perfect I mean it's a flexible rubber piece and it's clear um, and doesn't get in the way and you know it's very comfortable to wear with or without glasses and it has um, two LED lights on on each side of the glasses and it has a 1.6 magnification so it's just a little bit you know of magnification now these things um, when you turn them on I have I don't know if they're fully charged right now because but they are excellent they are bright they incredibly bright at first and um, they're not heavy you know and they're rechargeable with a micro USB charger so um, 
you aren't replacing those batteries all the time. And the quality of the LED lights is excellent. I mean, it's an excellent white light. It's not a blue or any other cast. It's just bright white light. Now, um, if you, like I said, if you are going to be using these for a long time, they will get you through a movie, you know, two hours or plus, maybe three, but they start to get dim, pretty dim, pretty quickly after that. So if you use them every day, you will have to charge them every day, okay? There's no real way to get around that, but, you know, you just plug them in to the wall. I don't even know how long it takes just, you know, to get a charge, but I love them. They're my most comfortable pair and you know, I'm getting used to the, to the slight magnification um, that they have and they're excellent. Um, I just can't say enough about them after having used all the stuff, used all the products that I have, you know, um, these are definitely the best. <laughs> And so you're able to get these in a, a variety of places. They do have a website. Um, and, of course, the website encourages you to pick up two pairs, which I think is a great idea. I'm going to definitely go back and get a second pair so I can either have them in a different location, downstairs, upstairs in my house, on the go, or just to be able to use one up and then, you know, charge it while I'm using the other you know what I mean so um, like I said they've been um, a really great product and those are called mighty sight and the I also wanted to um, tell you that I've been looking for some other options you know the biggest thing that makes these so good of course is that they're rechargeable in my opinion that's the, what makes them the, the, that really changes the ease of use for me um, so I have been looking up rechargeable LED um, eyeglasses or headlamps to see if I can find any other options and actually I'll show you this one Yocta Sun has um, a rechargeable head magnifier glasses um, with the interchangeable lenses and it looks pretty interesting and it's pretty inexpensive you can get it um, you know, I think it says for $14.99 with a coupon for right now. That's what it's telling me. So um, those might be one to try out if you are interested. If you can't find Mighty Sight and you still want to try a rechargeable head magnifier glass, um, that's definitely um, an option. But I wouldn't go back to the battery packs. Definitely. So that's all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to show you um, some of the products that I've been using to stitch and um, some options that you might have there if you're looking for um, some ways to stitch in the dark or otherwise, you know, so. So um, uh, that's about it. Let me know if you have any uh, more ideas for ways to stitch in the dark or at nighttime. And um, you know, I would be cool. I would love to check them out. You know, I like I said, these are this is not the last thing I'm going to be purchasing. And you know, I stitch in the dark almost every day. So <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon.